Hi, my name is Dustin Sleva. When I'm not getting double doubles, I will consider watching Ship Athletic Supporters. <laughs> ship athletic supporters athletic supporters that's the name of our show that is the name of our show it is outstanding i'm perry mattern i'm bill morgel i'm the sid i do sports information at shippensburg i do work for him and we decided to make this show because we can let's go to some highlights let's see what we got shippensburg taking on millersville this past wednesday the raiders looking to sweep the marauders in the season series for the first time since 2009 we get started with dustin sleva going up and under with the foul Count the bucket, Raiders up 10-5 early. Next time down, it's Sleva again. This time from fellow sophomore Clay Connor gets the layup to go. Sleva ends up with three straight buckets as he gets that one to go in the lane. And the Raiders start the game on a 17-5 run. Sleva had 24 on the night. Here's Sleva driving and then kicking. Justin MacArthur for three. He had 11 on the night off the SU bench. A big night for Antonio Kellum. The freshman knocks down a three here. He had a career-high 23 on the night on 9 of 12 shooting, including five threes, and also this emphatic dunk to finish off the night for Shippensburg as they top Millersville 87 to 70. Let's go to the ship smart board for the rest of the results. All right, thanks, big head. This week in wrestling, Shippensburg, two matches on Tuesday, senior night against UPJ and also Kutztown on Friday. Evan Ramos, really good at wrestling. He's now 20-1. and one. He won both of his matches this week. The big one was Friday at Kutztown. He's going up against Brennan Clark. He brought Clark second in the region, Ramos third in the region in the Super Region 1 rankings. Evan won. Of course he did. He's now 20-1, and one, as I mentioned, on the year. Also, Shane Springer, a pin at 174 on Tuesday. and then, On a Tuesday. And on Friday, you had decision wins for Dante Stefanino at 133, Cody Blankenship at 149, and senior Mark Lentz, who is, was honored on Tuesday. He was. Then won on at Tuesday. 165 yeah. on Friday. I guess you should probably start talking about track and field, shouldn't I? Big weekend. Yeah, it was. All right, let's go back and check the smart board. You see Lindsey Sheehan. Ran a PR in the 200. Megan Lundy ran a season PR in the 400. You have Abby Schaefer running a nice 3K that puts here near the top of those standings in the PSAC. And you have Sarah Hunt in the long jump. Abby Wagner also hit a PR in the jumps this weekend, too. Now we're going to see how the men turned out like that. Friday night at Bucknell, there were significant performances, among them Grant Smith. Uh, he won the shot, was second in the weights. Josh Purcell, a sprinter and a hurdler, had a really nice uh, time of it down there at Bucknell. He not only had this time in the hurdles of 8.43, as you can see, he also though picked up his PSAC cut in the 400. He ran 51.46, so that was a pretty nice effort for him. Raquan Chapman is the guy that I really wanted to make sure we mentioned. He had a really nice weekend. Season best in both jumps, the long jump and the triple jump. NCAA professional qualifiers in both. He's among the top two in the PSAC in both now. Kieran Sutton ran the mile. He is now the PSAC leader in the mile. Uh, 412, kind of good. Um, and Chris Craig ran the 200 in 21.8. That is the best for him in college. He is very fast. Some great track stuff. Thank you, Smart Board. Thank you, Big Head. By the way, I didn't see you at all this weekend. Where were you at? I went to North Carolina. What are you doing in North Carolina? Baseball started. Oh, how'd they do? They did pretty well. Actually, let's take a look at how they did. All right. So we split both days. We lost the first game each day, but we rebounded well and won the second game each day. You can see us here at Belmont Abbey. This is some footage I shot down there. And it was really cold. It was actually more cold probably Friday than Saturday because the sun actually came out Saturday. But given that this is their first opportunity on fields, on, you know, playing games, you know, it was really good. They hit pre really well by the end. The pitching came together. It was a really solid set of performances from this group this week.
Dalton Hoyle, six hits, led the team, three doubles, Cash Gladfelter, home run, the only one for Ship. Mark Curtis, six shutout innings, and also two saves for Josh Cutchie in Shippensburg on set. Uh, the start of the week. I guess it's start of the week time. Yeah, that's kind of freaky. I'll let you go to do the honors. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, start of the week. 65.9%. That's what Antonio Kellum is shooting his last four games. 29 of 44 from the field. He's got nine three-pointers in those four games, and that's why he has won his second consecutive PSAC Eastern Division Freshman of the Week. Back to back. Back to back. Awards. Word to Meek Mill. Trex. Hold on. Trex. Hold, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Dustin Sleva, how'd you get here? Locked here. <laughs> so, you guys have won four or five. Things are going pretty well. What's it been like to be a part of this team? You know, it's fun. Every day is fun. You know, it's just everybody jokes with each other. You know, yeah. it's a great time. Like, I'm having the time of my life. Probably the best year I've ever had playing basketball, like, enjoyable-wise. What do you like great. to do best offensively? Off obviously, I love to shoot, you know. <laughs> when there's, like, two seconds on the shot clock, that's my favorite time. Because <laughs> you have to. A, cl a close second is probably creating for teammates, you know. Getting in the lane and kicking it out. That's Have you I, dunked yet this year? No. I can dunk, officially. On record, I can dunk. Now, your hair, how do you get it to stay so feathery? Well, get it to stay in place when you play? Right now, I had to go to hairdresser. This uh, holiday cut's a terrible place. Like, it never, <laughs> never go there. <laughs> no so holiday she, cuts. She messed it all up. She, you know, messed up. Usually, I go to the Shamrock place. It was cool, but I was short on time. Had to go there. But, I mean... AJ Mon, he gives me his gel and I put it on before a game and usually it stays in place. But so AJ Mon's like the key. He's the key. Yeah, the key he's he's success. the he's the mom of Shippensburg basketball team. I say that the mon. The mon, the mon of yeah. Shippensburg basketball. The Nicely mon. done. Nicely done. Last three questions before we get you out of here. Three big questions. Reisner or Kreiner? Oh, uh, Kreiner all the way. Why? It's the finer diner. All right, Starbucks or Dunkin'? Ah, uh, Starbucks. Would you say you're a pickles guy or not a pickles guy? I would want to be. They look good and juicy. Usually, I just don't like them. Oh, hold on. Sorry, let me take this question. This is Perry. Oh, okay. Uh, Dustin, they need you at the library to get a book off the top shelf. All right. All right, man. Good I to see it. you. Good to see you, too. He'll be there in a sec. Yo, did you see Sleeva? Yeah, he was going to save the day at the library. Oh, okay. What's going on this week? Stuff. Smart Board says, women's and men's basketball, Wednesday night, Haven Nation's their opponent, Be 6 here. and 8 p.m. They don't play Saturday, so come watch them Wednesday. Biggest week of the year for swimming, PSAC Championships, Thursday through Sunday at the YMCA in York. Track and field, Saturday at Kutztown, their last meet before the PSAC Championships. Baseball, Saturday and Sunday at Catawba. Where the heck is Catawba? <laughs> Catawba is in Salisbury, North Carolina, about an hour away from Charlotte. Duh. Oh, all right, Alexa. Anyway. She's right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Softball, season opener. Season begins. Snowbird Classic. I think it's some weird name like that. Friday through Sunday in Myrtle Beach. Tennis resumes. This is resume. Resumes the spring schedule. Shenandoah Saturday. That's indoors because it's kind of cold outside. You know what our inspirational quote of the week is? Today's inspirational quote. I call these cats Reynolds, because they plastic wrap to leave quality. Certainly words to live by, Bill. They like plastic wrap. They're, they're plastic wrap, there's no doubt about it. You know what is not Reynolds? No. ShipRaiders.com. Add Shippy Raiders on Twitter, all kinds of great content. It's the place to go. Updates. Yes. Hashtag content. Emojis. Yes. Occasionally. Occasional fire. Shippensburg University Athletics on Facebook. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's all that stuff. Ship Raiders on Instagram. That's right, we're on the gram. Can't forget gram. about the gram. Periscope. Right. Periscope. This weekend we periscope at baseball. to baseball. Go we're check gonna it out. We're going to periscope more. We are going to periscope a little bit. It's like a thing. Are we on LinkedIn yet? No, we should get on LinkedIn. We should get on LinkedIn.